And so Facebook, one of the exciting things about for me uh, when I joined Facebook was just to understand just how many different efforts they're making in trying to, uh, in, in trying to solve the connectivity challenge. And so with it, we have um, new technologies and we're partnering with a variety of, of players in the ecosystem. We, we partner with Microsoft in advancing the uh, you know, uh, TV white spaces agenda. We have um, uh, a variety of new technologies that we're experimenting with from unlicensed, uh, unlicensed spectrum to, to extend out the reach and connectivity uh, for villages in India to um, trying to use very high frequencies to try to increase the capacity in urban areas, which are, which are very challenged. We have, um, uh, we have uh, our new technologies that are going to be using um, uh, drones or unmanned aerial vehicles to be able to be flying over and, and providing backhaul services to places that are extremely remote and extremely far. And so it's a wide variety of connectivity challenges. And it's because, um, as, as Secretary Novelli was, uh, Under Secretary Novelli was talking about in the, in the beginning, um, the, the impact that this can have of bringing connectivity to the world is, is significant. Not only the economic impact of increasing the GDP by 1 to 2 percent, but the practical impact that it has on people's lives. The hundreds of millions of jobs that it could end up creating, uh, this, the, the millions of children who would then have access to educational information, uh, and, and the health care implications are significant. So what, what we think that this is so, so critical that we need to spend a significant amount of our, our time and resources to, to try to be able to solve uh, this challenge and working with partnerships with um, various companies and with uh, and with you all of you, um, you know one of the things that was interesting about the Global Connect initiative for us uh, was not only the, uh, w which we participated in, um, but was not only the introduction to the to various players outside the United States, but we actually made even connections with other companies here in the United States that we weren't aware of what they were doing. Uh, one of the things, for example, that we've that was so important about that was actually we connected with American Tower and some of their 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 efforts around the world uh, to use their tower infrastructure to expand connectivity and we've been trying to think of ways that we could be creative in partnering with them. And it just shows you the importance of us working together as a partnership to address so, so many of these issues. Um, you know, one of the things, again, that, that struck me about the first, about the first uh, uh, presentation by Mr. Raines was the fact that the, um, I think he said that the, the challenges might be somewhat changing from a, from a, uh, a mere awareness to uh, price and affordability was one of the themes that I took away from his presentation. Um, in many ways, I think that those, those two issues are somewhat connected. Obviously, having, having underlying infrastructure access is an important component, and we have a lot of technologies that we're working on. But, but really, the combination of price and relevance, uh, I mean price and awareness, is really kind of a relevance factor. In other words, is, is what it costs to get on um, worth the price to you? Uh, and so I think we have to combat that by two ways. We have to continue to work on the awareness factor, and I think we've got a, a variety of programs that we're trying to end up doing to try to make sure we're extending and promoting uh, internet connectivity. Although I would say that sending a WhatsApp or a Facebook message does is a good thing. I wouldn't, uh, and it should still count. The uh, uh, but I but I take the point that we want broader connectivity. Um, but um, but I think that the but but I think that the the other component of that is how do we decrease the overall costs. Uh, in the system. Uh, and obviously there's, there's government subsidies, uh, policies that we end up uh, um, supporting. But in addition to that, we've got to find ways to drive down the costs of that connectivity. And so we uh, have actually recently uh, announced and are working with the, the ecosystem to help drive down those costs uh, of connectivity. We had had a, a program of, called our Open Compute uh, program in which we had uh, made an open source hardware and software designs available for data centers. And that ended up not only driving down the, co um, the cost of those data centers, but also making them much more energy efficient. Um, and one of the things that actually Under Secretary Novelli brought up to me right before our panel was how, mu how much that was important on the energy side. And so we're trying to take those same principles and drive them into the telecommunications access side. Uh, and so we've been increasingly partnering with uh, underlying operators and equipment providers to do the same thing on the access side to try to end up making it more of an open, uh, open environment to help drive down those costs. And then we also need to make sure that the content that's available to address the kind of awareness and, and, uh, and cost factor, that the content is available in more bite-sized chunks. In many of these, in many of these markets, the underlying, tech, the underlying connectivity doesn't have the same capacity and capability. So how do we also make sure that the content is designed for that? And we actually have a lab in which any content provider can come and, see, and replicate what that connectivity is like in any country around the world. And you can see how your content would be seen by an average user there. And so you can actually see how you need to make your delivery of that content more efficient. And we work a lot from Facebook's perspective on how do we end up doing that to make our content uh, you know, systematized so that it can be available on a more bite-sized chunks. And so I, I just think that the, 
that, that, that all of these efforts are a reflection not only of the challenges, but of the way we need to address it uh, in a holistic way and in partnership with everyone here in the room.